Hi everyone. With Content Manager on Assetto Corsa, there is a fantastic showroom facility, very similar to what's in the main Assetto Corsa game, but of course you can add multiple showrooms and really add all those lighting and graphical effects to your screenshots. This is an example of some of the screenshots you can take with the new content installed. So let's jump in. The first place to go is Race Department. The link below in the description will bring you to this screen which is Showrooms and CM Presets Pack 1.0. Looking through the description and the screenshots you will see not only are there a number of locations but there are a number of presets that will give you some of the best screenshots you can get on a set of Corsa. So simply click on the download button, the raw file will pop up, click OK and save that as normal into your saved location. When you have the showroom file, simply pick it up, drag and drop it into Content Manager. The three light bars will glow at the top of the screen. Click on that and you will see the showroom and CM presets pack. Click on install and just wait for the bar to get to the top. Once this is completed, click on remove completed. So we're now ready to jump into showroom. So the first thing to do is to choose your car. So I think for this, I'm gonna choose the Corvette C7 Stingray. Next, choose your color. Click on OK. Next, go to the radial menu and click on open in showroom. This will open a new screen and there is your new showroom. Click on the maximize button to make full screen. Now you can use your mouse buttons and the mouse drag to move around your car. So let's have a look at the settings we have in showroom. We have visual settings, making a shot, camera settings, car parameters, and then several cars. If we start on visual settings, you will see you have quality scene, lights, HDR, and MISC. The quality setting gives you a number of settings that you can use to choose what kind of graphical effects you want on your screenshots and also the quality. In the scene settings there is a number of options here including setting the backgrounds for the different scenes that you can take screenshots on so let's just take a look through some of these. As well as a number of the standard backdrops from Assetto Corsa there are now new backdrops here that we installed with the pack that we installed at the beginning of this tutorial. So let's just have a look at some of those. After looking through the backdrops, I think this C7 Stingray looks good in this parking lot, this countryside parking lot. So let's have a look at some of the different features that we can actually move and adjust here. So firstly, you can adjust the actual lighting. This creates all the different shadows and all the different lighting effects actually on the car as well as the background. The brightness can be adjusted. There is also the ability to add new light sources. These new light sources are fully adjustable too. And let's not forget the option to switch on all of the different exterior lights on the car too. Next is HDR. There are a number of settings here for you to experiment with to try and get the perfect screenshot. And again, finally, in MISC, a number of other options for you to experiment with.
Next is screenshot. Here you can change the width, the height, as well as the resolution and change the type of output graphic that will be saved. And of course, here's that very important button, take a screenshot. All of the screenshots that you will take here will be saved in your content manager media folder. Next on camera settings, there are a number of options here to move the camera, tilt the camera, change the view angle and even orbit the camera automatically with auto rotate. So these are all things to experiment with. Next onto car parameters. The first option you'll see here is the option to change the colour. So black looks very nice really like this car in the velocity yellow. We can add a driver and as I rotate here you will see the driver actually in the car there. And also if you want you can add the full Chevrolet pit crew. Again there are a number of different options to experiment with here. You can open the doors, wipers on, both doors and there is a number of physics options as well as the ability to move the steering of the car. And as you can see when we zoom in you've got all that fantastic detail in full HDR on this screenshot. So the last option is to add multiple cars. So this is a very easy menu based system where you can choose to add any of the different cars you've got installed. So let's try a Ferrari. And as you can see the Ferrari there pops up onto the screen. And again you can adjust all the other cars the same as the car that you started with. You can change the paintwork on these multiple cars. So let's try changing on the Ferrari, looks good. And let's add another car, let's add a, another Ferrari, the F40. So there you go, three amazing cars in our parking lot, ready for our screenshot. So let's take a screenshot and see what that looks like. There you go, screenshot made. Just to show you what that does look like, here is the screenshot. Yes, that screenshot looks fantastic. Well, I do hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please like the video and do subscribe if you want to see more Assetto Corsa, BMNG and Wreckfest. Channel links are below. See you soon, guys.